expertise and practices. He has served a range of boards and committees, including the U.S. Treasury Borrowing Advisory Committee, the International Center for Research on Women, the IMF's Committee of Eminent Persons, the Peterson Institute for International Economics, and the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, among many others. And he has shared his knowledge through extensive writings in publications from the Financial Times to The Economist, to Bloomberg, and The Wall Street Journal. Since 2020, Dr. al Aryan has served as the president of Queen's College at Cambridge University. Through all these roles, he has demonstrated and continues to demonstrate his unwavering dedication to the economics and educational ties between the United States and the Arab world. In recognition of his leadership in the business and educational sectors, as well as his steadfast commitment to strengthening and expanding U.S.-Arab relations, I am, as a board member of the National Council, proud, and as an Arab-American, doubly proud, to award this honor to Dr. Muhammad al Aryan. While uh, Dr. Al Aryan could not be here in person, he has sent a video remarks for us. Thank you. Good evening. It is such an honor to receive this award from the National Council on U.S. Arab Relations. It is even more so to receive it on the 40th anniversary, 40 years dedicated to promoting understanding. I so wish I could be with you in person. Unfortunately, I'm unable to do so. Please accept my apologies. This evening is not only about celebrating 40 years of incredible accomplishments. It is also to thank our outgoing president, John Duke Anthony, for his dedication, his commitment, and his service. Under his founding presidency, the council has contributed in such a significant way to deepening understanding of the Arab world, including through programs, internships, events, and activities that include students, teachers, the media, and so many more. Never has the role of the council been as important as during this extremely sad and tragic time, a time that has seen immense suffering and loss of innocent lives, including so many children. I would like to express my deep appreciation and gratitude to President Anthony for all that he has done and is doing. And as the presidency passes on to President Roosevelt, I would like to thank him and wish him great success in this important role. Thank, thank you again, again for this great, great honor. honor. I, I wish, wish you the, the very best. best.